This is the fifth estate winning headlines, your media police post. In this segment, we summarize some of the headlines that you may have missed this morning. And we also take a look at the political pieces that we call cartoons in this country. Today is the 15th of November, 2022, and I am GK. I am DK. And I am 2J. And in case you missed today's headlines, here they are. In the Daily Nation, place junior high in primary, say parents. Mm. The Standard, criminals run riot as security chiefs talk tough. The Star, painful tales of slum dwellers living with HIV. And in the People Daily, gangs' days are numbered. <laughs> Tell us who's going to choose numbered their days. <laughs> Let me number those days. <laughs> now, the man on trial this week is a short guy with dimples. <laughs> His name is Kendeke. And we have our doubts that his looks can scare the Nairobi boys he has threatened. Mm -hmm. An interior minister must have bad breath, <laughs> red short eyes, and high gangster index. To fight criminals, you must look like a criminal and act like one. Mm -hmm. Frey Matiangi played this part very effectively. Mm -hmm. John Mishuki and Akibaki told us that if you rattle a snake, it will strike back. Mm -hmm. And when Mongeki rattled his neck, he struck back and eliminated them with finality. Yeah. Now Mongeki is coming back because they are not scared of Kendeke. But scaring criminals has nothing to do with height and dimples. Nicholas Biwot was a short man mm -hmm. and he had dimples like a girl. But Biwot was the most feared man in the history of Kenya. Vladimir Putin as well is a short man. Mm -hmm. In fact, his cameramen have to kneel when taking his pictures mm -hmm. so as to make him appear tall. But today, Putin is the most powerful man in the entire world, not Joe Biden. Yeah. Napoleon Bonaparte was a short man with dimples. But in eight years, mm. he changed France and the way bureaucracy works. Mm. He introduced the Napoleonic Code that changed how civil service in the world is organized. He was short but brutal. In fact, short men are brutal. <laughs> and Kendeke should activate this genetic resource. <laughs> what is my point here? It is not the size of the dog that matters. Mm -hmm. It is the size of the fight in the dog that counts. Wow. Those in social media calling Kendeke a beautiful man with a sharp voice should be put on notice. Mm -hmm. They are staring at a Vlad Vladimir Putin and a Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah. Men who are brutal. And as they say, dynamites that blow up mines come in small packages. Mm -hmm. But to be effective, Kendeke should become a drama queen, just a little bit. At his press conference yesterday, he should have instructed police to shoot and kill these thugs. Mishoke did it, and Jonjo did it. Surely, Kendeke can do it too. <laughs> then he should have told victims to run over Boda Boda thugs the way they do it in Latin America. Mm. If a Boda Boda crosses you, you cross with it. And we borrow this thinking from the Newton third law that states this. From every action, there must be an equal and opposite reaction. Mm. If a dog bites you, you must bite it back. <laughs> wow. yes. I don't know That's about that. Wow. <laughs> All right. So according to the <coughs> Daily Nation, mm -hmm. UDA MP for Korea East, Mr. Marwa Kitayama, mm -hmm. has proposed a bill to increase the number of counties in Kenya from 47 to 52. Mm -hmm. The bill seeks to create Kuria County carved from Migori County, oh. Teso County carved from Busia County, East Pokot County carved from Baringo and West Pokot Counties, mm -hmm. Mount Elgon County carved from Bungoma, and Transoya, and Mwingi County carved from Kitui County. Mm. Five new counties. Wow. Now, this is twice in one month that a random UDA MP has proposed constitutional change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Question is, does Kenya need 52 counties, or even the f current 47 for that matter? No. 
Now, to put this into perspective, Nigeria with 211 million people mm. has 36 states. Oh. The United States, with 331 million people, mm. has 50 states. And our neighbors, South Africa, with 60 million people, are organized into just nine provinces. Mm -hmm. So is this even a good idea? Now, we have practical and political issues with this proposal. Mm. Our practical issues are around the constitutional change process and resource allocation. I will address the practical issues. Mm -hmm. Now, the dailies have interpreted the constitution to suggest that the creation of new counties would require a referendum. I am of a different opinion. Mm -hmm. The things that require a referendum are 10, mm -hmm. and they are housed under Article 255 of the constitution. I will let you read those yourself. <laughs> and I believe that our friends in traditional media are incorrectly using Article 255, Section 1, Subsection I to predict a referendum. Mm. This section calls for a referendum if any amendment is proposed to change objects, principles, and structures of counties. Mm. But in our opinion, the correct law to read is Article 188. Mm -hmm. It says that the boundaries of counties can be altered by a two-thirds vote from both the National Assembly and Senate, but only after it is recommended by the IEBC. Mm. Now, this bill is proposing boundary alterations, which does not touch on those things, objects, principles, and structures of counties. Mm. This means that the public do not need to be consulted, which means we do not need a referendum. Mm. Simple. Now, this, however, may actually come down to judicial inter interpretation. Yes. The courts may find that a decision of this magnitude requires the consent of the people in these counties and therefore they will take it to the ground. This is a likely possibility. My other practical issue is about resource allocation. Mm. Currently, the existing 47 counties unevenly divide around 370 billion annually between them. Adding five more counties would mean less money per county. Absolutely. It would require the old counties to sacrifice a portion of their allocation to fund a newly formed county. Mm. For example, Migori County today has 1.1 million people and receives 8 billion from the national government. If the new Kuria County is formed by taking Kuria East and West from Migori, mm. it would become home to about 300,000 people. This is around one third of Migori's current population. Would this also translate to one third of Migori's allocation as well? Mm. Are these old counties willing to lose in order for new counties to be birthed? Hmm. On top of it, is the national government in a position to fund MCA, MP, senator mm. and gubernatorial races in five new counties? Mm -mm. From a practical point of view, I am not convinced. Therefore, this proposal must be about politics. Mm. We have predicted that William Ruto is going to repackage BBI mm. for his benefit and give it to country with a new twist. If BBI, as envisioned by President Uhuru Kenyatta, wanted to promote proportional representation, yeah. this bill proposed by Kitayama is using the constitution to do politics for 2027. Mm. Is it a coincidence that the breaking of seven counties to create five more is taking place in Raila's stronghold? Mm -hmm. The same stronghold that Kalonzo may inherit. In our estimation, the creation of these five new counties would be equal to two million individuals. Mm. Could this split allegiances and votes if Ruto is hailed as the solution for marginalized communities? Mm. Then why hasn't the same been applied to Kiambu or Nakuru County. Mm -hmm. These are two counties that are exploding with population growth and would benefit from more proportional representation. Yeah. Is it because this is politics, not development at work? Mm. In our view, this conversation on new counties will not see the light of day. And on this, we could be wrong. Yeah. But with the current budget cuts and impending global recession, it makes little sense to invest in the formulation of five revenue-heavy counties. And perhaps the real owner of that bill 
knows that. Mm. We are becoming convinced that constitutional reform is around the corner and it has nothing to do with increasing term limits or creating new counties. Yeah. Is it possible that Greenhorn UDA MPs are being used to test the waters on something bigger? Mm -hmm. Are we being shocked and angered by the likes of Yakub and Kitamaya for distraction purposes? I reserve the right to remain skeptical on that front. And skeptical we are. <laughs> All right, so we have a three-part criteria that we use to judge the headlines by. We ask ourselves, is the headline topical or speculative, repetitive or groundbreaking, and finally thoughtful or just plain lazy? Yes. All right, so Daily Nation placed junior high in primary, say teachers, the standard, criminals run riot as security chiefs talk tough. The star painful tales of slum dwellers with HIV and people daily gangs days numbered. Mm -hmm. I'll go with the people daily. Yeah, I think we can give it straight. People are underestimating the dimples. <laughs> <laughs> the of King yeah. King. I completely agree, and mm -hmm. I think yeah, he should take your words to heart. Mm -hmm. You're encouraging him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I think there we have it. The People Daily gives us our winning headline. Fantastic. On to the political pieces that we call cartoons, but we also have a three-part criteria that has been chopped down to two. Mm -hmm. We ask ourselves do we like it or do we not <laughs> end of story <laughs> let us begin with the daily nation okay allow me to take us through that mm. so you have uh, deputy president riggy g holding a <laughs> bunch of records in his hands and in, even in his mouth and these <laughs> records are uh, consistent with the with his with his theme freedom is here mm. dci framed us ruto and i suffered <laughs> and truthful men <laughs> <laughs> on that broken record. <laughs> and behind him, in his green uh, Kenya Kwanzaa colors, is Musalia Mudavadi, who is holding his yes. ears in complete anger. Mm -hmm. Praying for the music to Praying stop. Praying for the broken <laughs> record to finally stop. Mm. Uh, this cartoon, by the way, is making me very happy because it is true, Riggi G has not stopped using yeah. these same narratives consistently. Mm. And um, you, you have to be a bit cautious because <laughs> Perhaps, and this is a hypothesis that we at Fort Hall have been uh, starting to put out there, mm -hmm. perhaps Mr. Mudavadi is looking to take the job of mm. Riggi G come 2027. And that would explain him being in the background because of course the context of Mudavadi being there mm -hmm. is that over the weekend he called for an end uh, between that blame game of opposition Absolutely. versus mm -hmm. the government yeah. in Machakos County, which mm -hmm. I think was a bit of a shock to Rigadi being called out by who essentially would now be his deputy as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe we're saying Rigi G out in 2027 mm -hmm. and Mudavadi, Mudavadi in. And, in. By, and by the way, it would make sense. For example, look look at the numbers. Mm. The, Luya the Luya votes yeah. are 2.9 million. Mm. The Kalenjin votes 2.7 million. Mm. Alone, those two communities will master 5.6 million votes, which can counter the Gemma. Six million votes. That's only if Mudavadi can but actually get that vote. Too. But on, <laughs> this, on, this, yes, on that same note, we must remind Mus, uh, Mudavadi uh -huh. as he yaps towards Gashagwa mm -hmm. yes. that he's not elected. Mm. He's failed two times, and if you not feel that entitled to go after, that is true. He, he exists in that position at the will of the president. The president. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, I say let's part that. That's a very great cartoon. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at the standard. The standard. The standard is. Uh, caricature of President Bruto <laughs> and <laughs> who is on his crown has replaced uh, the coat of arms with a, with a the, the cross. With a cross. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and then the thing, the caption here is that uh, President is trying to remind us that I want to remind the world that Kenya is a sovereign state, my friend. Mm -hmm. And then the ADC comes back <laughs> and tells him, Your Excellency, <laughs> The previous administration <laughs> sold that to the Chinese too. Mm. Wow. This one, why, how I read it, I see Gado depicted Ruto as a dictator. Absolutely. Because mm. when I look at his attire, this reminds me of one Muammar Gaddafi, mm. yeah. who was also talking about sovereignty and all those kind of things. <laughs> and I, I thought it was pessimistic, but on a second look, mm -hmm. I like the way they are doing this kind of narratives. <laughs> I actually also like it. But I want to ask, mm -hmm. very honestly, mm -hmm. is this true? What Has is true? anybody sold Kenya mm -hmm. to the Chinese? Oh, I mean, no. first of all, <laughs> our dear friend Onesmus Mokoman, he really hyped up what was in the contents in the of this contract, contract yep. and, and failed to actually show us anything. The real thing. Yeah, what, yeah. hot air. Exactly, he blew <laughs> hot air, right? So 
I think pessimism, I think it's on the line. Mm. But you know what? We love Gado. We'll give it to him. We'll pack that or give it at least honorary mention. Mm. Okay. Okay, finally, let's look at the star. This is Ndula. Mm. Uh, In the star, we have caricatures of President Ruto and DP Gashagwa standing there about to carve Kenya in the midst of a budget crisis. Mm. And we have Wanjiko standing there on the side with plates drooling. And the caption here says, just a little longer, I promise. I think we're tired of hearing just a little longer. Uh, Of course, here this is in the context of the 300 billion austerity Mm. cuts. Um, but I also want to offset that with what was in the one of the dailies yesterday that mm. spoke about how Ruto had had 126 meetings in 60, 60 days. days. Yeah. Impressive. The product of which was half a trillion of um, money pledged, mm. right? Yes. And I think that also ties in with Bill Gates coming to Kenya. Mm-hmm. We're not really sure what he wants to do. I think it might be related to the GMO process. Mm-hmm. But um, I think the president is trying. I think we should, we should give that to him. Mm. When Uhuru did, you know, dozens of trips around the world and came back with goodies for Kenya, we clapped for him. Clap for him. So I think it's only fair that when Ruto does the same, and I'd say at an alarmingly high and quick rate, fast, we should fast. clap for him as well. Best right? thing is that Uhuru used to go at night, mm-hmm. come back <laughs> in the morning. You never knew when he was in or out. That's mm-hmm. true. But Ruto has been pronouncing it. Mm. That's true. Yes. Go underground, go Your underground. Excellency, yeah. please. All right, so. What do we call our winning headline today? Uh, I, I winning would have cartoon. to request that it So it winning go, cartoon, you're right. Winning cartoon. I would have to request it goes to Mr. Riggy G and his broken record. A broken record thing. I, I, I really love it. We're tired of the, the Riggy G broken record. Who wrote this, who wrote that? Rila yeah. this, Rila that. Sir, again, go underground. Please. The cartoons were not that bad. I will not throw them down. Please. Well, lightly drop yes, them. Sorry. Mm-hmm. All right, there you have it. The winning cartoon comes from the Daily Nation and the winning headline from the People Daily. Mm. Now, since we are in the business of inspiring and mm. we want to inspire uh, Mr. Kindiki today, mm-hmm. I have a quote from a general one of our favorite uh, generals, Mm. George Patton. Mm -hmm. And he said, all men are timid on entering any fight, whether it is the first or the last fight. All of us are timid. Mm -hmm. Cowards are those who let their timidity get the better of their manhood. Uh, All right. (laughs) Don't forget, you can find us on your TV screens. We're on Pan Free to Air, Go TV, and Star Times. Have a lovely evening, and we will see you same time, same place, tomorrow.